Okay, we have another optimization question and it reads, a printer needs to make a poster that will have a total area of 200 inch squared and will have one inch margins on the sides, a, a two inch margin on the top and 1.5 inch margin on the bottom. What dimensions will give the largest printed area? Now, it's best to draw a diagram before moving forward. And that is basically what the layout will be. Two inches from the top, 1.5 from the bottom and one on each side. And that is our first step. And we, being, we are being asked to uh, calculate what the largest printed area will be. Now, we know the largest printed area uh, will be equal to its length by its width. Now, we know that its length is given as such like this. However, we need to come in one inch from each side. So we will get the length minus two inches and the same for its width. So the width will be W minus 3.5 and I'm not going to expand and collect like terms as it, I'm just going to leave it as is at the moment. What I am going to do is go to its constraint. So at its constraint we are given uh, 200 inch squared of uh, printing material or printing area. And we know that 200 will be its length by width. And we can solve for one variable. I'll solve for W, leaving it to be 200 over L. Now we can uh, put W equals 200 over L into this function up here to get the following. Um, L minus two, uh, 200 take over L, excuse me, take away 3.5. Now I'm going to expand it and we will get 200 uh, minus 3.5 L minus 400 over L plus seven. Collecting like terms, we will get 207 minus 3.5 L minus 400 over L. And that is what we will be taking the derivative of. And in doing so, we will get a dash being equal to negative 3.5 minus 400 over L squared. And we're gonna set that equal to zero. And that will be our next step. So set uh, a dash to zero, we will get uh, negative 3.5 minus 400 over L squared being equal to zero. So L squared will be equal to 400 over 3.5 so L will equal to 20 
divided by square root of 3.5 and that would be its length. Now we can solve now for its width by putting this back into our constraint function. So we will have a width of 200 being divided by 20 uh, over the square root of 3.5 and we will get 10 square root of 3.5 and that's inches inches and because we're being asked to calculate its area um, we will just quickly calculate multiply these terms just to check if it is correct so the area which we know as length multiplied by its width the length is 20 over 3.5 multiplied by 10 under the square root of 3.5. The 3.5s will cancel out and we'll be left with 200 inch square. So we know that its length is 20 divided by the square root of 3.5 and its width is 10 square root 3.5 and they're both inches. So we know that to be correct and they would be our dimensions that would produce the largest area.